And hello there YouTube, Stampede Valkyrie coming at you again. Uh, I'm kind of giving a little bit of a, a video here on what I like to call the Bulb Launcher 3000. Uh, what this is is actually a Yankee, I think it's a 354N beacon. Uh, the innards are actually com are found commonly on Dietz. Uh, Dietz beacons, well Yankee beacons, and then the Napa beacons and signal stat, so on and so forth. So you'll find the guts transfer through these things quite a bit. but. The reason why I'm making a video is that this is an example of these four lamp beacons that's a real bear to swap bulbs in. And I'll show you the reason why. Uh, if we're looking at the beacon here, we've got obviously not all four bulbs here. I'm missing one. Uh, I've got two good bulbs, one that's uh, a little bit clouded out. That one will be replaced. And then obviously, as I just, the reason why I like to call it, the Bulb Launcher 2000 is that it just launched a bulb. There it is. So, yeah, so that's probably a bad bulb now. We really don't like this design. But if you look at it, this gives you a, a good shot of what this thing looks like on the inside. Now, typically, these bulbs are held in place by the tension between this top rung and the bottom. Uh, the clips actually lock into place on the bottom and also on the top. And then this presses down and keeps the bulbs in place. So what ends up happening is, is that when you release the tension on this, the bulbs start to fly out and you have to be careful. So I'm not going to take the bulbs out while I'm on camera because I can't do this with one hand. We're going to end up launching everything. But I figured I'd at least show you uh, a general idea of what happens when you actually need to swap the bulbs on one of these beacons. The other thing that's actually kind of neat and it's just something I noticed is that you'll take note that the guts, at least the bottom piece here, is the same motor and drive that's found in the XL series bars, specifically the XL 9000s. Uh, if you look on the date there, you'll see February 9th of 79. So the motor was made in February of 1979. Uh, I don't know if that corresponds with the rest of this beacon, but again, this is a Yankee beacon. Uh, it's a 354N. Uh, this is the latest beacon I'm working on. And if you bear with me, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'm going to swap the bulbs and take it from there. So continuing on, now I've actually got the bulbs out and you can kind of get a clear shot of what the unit looks like. Now I've taken the top piece, which is over here off, uh, it's this guy that was sitting on it before. And you'll see the only thing that's holding this top piece in right now, as I adjust that, is this C-clip right here. So what I could do is I could pop this C-clip off. And by popping the C-clip off, that almost came off. Popping the C-clip off, you can actually separate the top from the bottom. And now you've got a clear shot of what this looks like. You can actually go further and pull the whole thing off. So the bottom, there's the plate that it makes contact to. Uh, and this right here is your brush. This is what makes contact with that bottom plate and charges the copper points on the bottom. So just an FYI, uh, that then translates to this piece. And this then acts as your ground and grounds the bulb back into the frame. So you're hot and then you're ground. Pretty straightforward, but here's a clean shot of the actual motor itself. Again, this is why I say, if you look at this, this is essentially the same motor and drive setup found in the XL9000 series bars, um, which is kind of interesting that they use the same parts. But what I'm gonna do now is reassemble the bar or reassemble this, put four bulbs back in. Uh, I'm not going again do this on video. Um, I will edit them in when I'm done, uh, primarily due to the fact that, again, this is a Bulb Launcher 2000 and it will launch bulbs on me. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I've got all four bulbs loaded and mounted in. You're going to want to do this with two hands. Uh, honestly, this is not something I would take very lightly. Again, I, I did name this thing the, the Bulb Launcher 2000 or 3000 because primarily that's what it does and that's what it does best. It launches bulbs. But anyway, if you bear with me here, we're gonna fire this guy up, make sure everything's connected right, and we'll go from there. All right, we've got our power set up going. Let's see if this thing turns and burns. And there we go. So four lamps are replaced, working again. Uh, for those that are questioning what kind of lamps these are, I believe these are uh, GE 7400, they're 35 watt lamps. That's the factory bulbs that were in this originally. Uh, I just wanted to add that while I'm working on this, but there it is. So the insides of this are cleaned up. She's turning, she's burning. Now I need to work on the dome itself and you will see that at some point in another video. Again, like I said, replacing the bulbs on these four lamp beacons are 
not exactly easy, especially the ones that use a clamp action like this one does. Uh, make sure you use two hands and take your time, otherwise you will launch these bulbs like it happened to me. All right, have a good day, YouTube.